In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with stories on the Kanban board. To start, point to the team room perspective and select your board from the list of Kanban boards. As you know, the first lane of the Kanban board is the backlog source lane. When you are ready to start working on a user story, just drag and drop the story from the backlog into the in-progress lane. Doing so will automatically update the work in progress summary indicator on the information pane. Earlier in the course, we set the WIP limit for the in-progress lane to five stories. I'm going to change that to three stories using the administration tool. And now notice that when I try to move a fourth story into the in-progress lane, I receive a work in progress limit message notifying me that I can't move any more stories into the in progress lane until I've moved some of the existing stories out of that lane. Notice the progress bars on each of the stories in the in progress lane. You will continue to work on tasks as necessary, and when you have completed the tasks, you can move them into the next lane of the Kanban board. Notice that you are not required to complete all tasks before moving the story into the next swim lane. This would be dictated by the logic of your particular Kanban board and project. Also note this indicator here, showing me that the documentation story has been sitting in the To Verify lane for four days. This is displaying because we earlier set up an age indicator limit of two days for this swim lane here in the administration tool. This lets you see at a glance that one of your stories has been sitting around longer than a predetermined amount of time. You can add new stories to the Kanban board without first having to add them to the backlog source lane by creating either a quick or a detailed story. When you create a new story, it is automatically added to the in progress lane. Finally, your board will fill up with stories over time. It would be useful to be able to filter out those stories that you do not need to see and display only those stories that you want to see. In that case, you can implement any of these filters here by choosing the appropriate filter term from the drop-down list. For example, stories might be added to your board that haven't been specifically assigned to you. In spite of the fact that this board was created to show only those stories, that have been assigned specifically to you. This can happen, for example, when you create new stories which are automatically added to the board. Using the provided filters, clip the drop down arrow in the user field and select Not Assigned. And in the Type field, select User Story. Now you should see only those user stories that have not been specifically assigned to you. And that's an introduction to working with stories on the Kanban board. I hope you found this video helpful, and thank you for watching.